This video is sponsored by X Origin AI. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are gonna be talking about an incredible little AI tool known as AI Pi Lite. That is this product right here. This is a little computer. It basically is the Raspberry Pi. That's an ultra small, ultra portable little computer. And that's what you're looking at right here. However, it is customized to be an AI companion. And it's actually very unique and powerful. Now, what you can do with this guy is you can turn this into your own AI companion. It can talk to you. And the best part is it is fully customizable. If you want, you can give it your own voice. Now, here's an example of me where I set the AI Pi light to use my own voice as it's talking to me. So look at this. I'm going to just talk to it. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Anything exciting happening in your tech world today? What do you think about the iPhones? I think iPhones are really impressive devices, especially when it comes to build quality, camera performance, and software optimization. Apple has a way of... So you just saw that was my own voice talking to me. And I also programmed and trained the AI Pi Lite to actually be interested in smartphones and tech just like I am. So that's just one example. Or if you want, you can give it Al Pacino's voice or Robert De Niro. Here's an example of it talking to me in Al Pacino's voice. So I'm going to press the button for it to activate so I can have a conversation with it. Look at this. Hey, how you doing? Talk to me. Now that's what I like somebody combing in. Straight to the point. You want me to talk? You got it. Baby, how am I doing? I'm spectacular. I'm over here, sitting in the dark, thinking about life. So you can see that is very, very customized experience. I gave it Al Pacino's voice, and I also told it to act like Al Pacino by describing how he behaves. I'll show you how to customize and set all that up. But at the end of the day, it's designed to be your AI companion. If you want it to be helpful, it's gonna be helpful. If you want it to be funny, it's gonna be funny. So let's dive in and look at the details. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of this gadget. And also I wanna show you guys how to set it up and how it is used and where to buy one. One more thing that's very important to understand with this product is you can connect this to various different AI models. You can pick and choose. So if I want, I can use Gemini or I can use Chat GPT or if I want, I can use X Origin. In the control center, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit, you can pick and choose which AI model your AI Pi Lite will use to talk to you. So let me give you guys a physical tour of the device. So this is the actual computer. That's the Raspberry Pi with AI Pi Lite on it. And this is a battery pack and this is designed so you can take this anywhere on the go and still have your companion with you. Now, you can see normally there's a USB type C port under here. So if you just wanna have this on your table or attach it somewhere magnetically, but power it with the USB Type-C, you can do that using the USB Type-C cable. So as an example, if I plug the USB cable underneath here, you're gonna see I'm able to power this on. It's gonna power on, it's gonna connect to my Wi-Fi, and it's gonna take the voice of my character, and that is the powering model using my USB Type-C cable, okay? So it is on standby mode, and I can press the button right here to activate so it's now listening to me and I can have a conversation with it, as you can see. That's right. I am not listening in the traditional sensei, only process what you type here. And I can press this button to go back to listen mode or press it again to go to standby mode. This is the power button. You have the LED right here. This indicates that it's powered on or it's active. And obviously this is gonna be the screen and of course, the microphone is right here. This black little hole here is the microphone. And then you've got the speakers right here and here. So it listens to me with the microphone right here and talks back to me with the speakers right over here. I can power this with the USB type C and I've got my two buttons, the power button and the function button. And you can see the back looks like a computer basically. And then, we have the battery pack that you can buy separately. Okay, I'm gonna show you all that stuff 
the pricing and all the details. But this battery pack, if I take this off right now, it's gonna turn off because it's got no power. But if I attach it to my battery pack magnetically, as you can see, now I can press this once and press and hold, and it's gonna turn that on and now I can use it with battery power, as you can see, on the go. Alrighty? So that is absolutely fantastic. I can do the same thing. I can press, it listens to me, and it can talk back to me using an AI model of your choice. And also, I want to let you know, whether you use with the battery pack or without the battery pack, there's magnets in the back, and you can attach this anywhere magnetically. Let me show you how that works and looks. So let's say I'm in the kitchen and I wanna attach this to the fridge so I can talk to it and even get advice about cooking. I can do that just like that. Now in this case, you can see we don't have the battery pack, but I can easily have it connected with a cable to power it. And now I can talk to it in the kitchen. So here's an example. Let's say I'm cooking or grilling chicken. I need some help with the temperature. I can go like this. Hey, can you help me with grilling a chicken? I don't know what exact temperature I should bring it to. I want it well done. Absolutely. For grilled chicken that is well done and safe to eat, you'll want to ensure the internal temperature reaches at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 70. All right. And the best part is it's pulling this information from powerful AI models. I'm going to show you guys that in a little bit as well. Now let me show you the battery pack and how that also attaches to the fridge or anything, no problem. But now here's a battery pack. And again, you can purchase as many of these as you want. Okay, so you just align these two dots with those two dots and it's gonna just connect. Here we have it. Now it's got power and it can run without cables. Back at the fridge, I can put it right here. That is also magnetic. And then I can uh, press and then press and hold to power this on. You can see the same exact thing is going to happen. It's scanning the Wi-Fi, connecting to the Wi-Fi, and it's going to be ready. So it's going to talk and give me the key details as usual. Again, using powerful AI models to get me precise information. So let me show you guys how to buy the AI Pi Lite and how to set it up. So basically, you go to AIPi.com, and then you go to product right over here. And then here's the X Origin AI Pi Lite, and here is the battery modules. Now you can see the AI Pi Lite itself is only $16.99 right now. And then if you want the batteries, you go to product and you go over to the battery modules and you can buy the battery modules for $10. And you can see you have various color choices. That's gonna be based on your needs. And again, with the AI Pi Lite, you also have different colors to choose from as you can see. Now, once you buy this, you also have to buy the subscription. All right, to get that, you're gonna to go to the top where it says subscription. You click on it, and here's all the available packages. So most people are buying the one that is only $10 a month. That's the most popular option. But once you buy one of these subscriptions, you can see you are able to bind 20 AI Pi lights to this one subscription. That means you can have 20 different characters. But anyway, I just want to make it clear that you buy the AI Pi Lite. If you want, you buy the battery pack and then you also buy the subscription and that's going to unlock the full potential of this product. Again, the links are going to be down below. Now, let me show you how to set it up, how to create characters and connect them to your AI Pi Lite. All right, so after you purchase AI Pi Lite and get a subscription, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to this website right here. This is the xdc.aipi.com website. This is where you are able to manage your membership and also customize AI Pi Lite characters. When you do log into this website, your subscription is already gonna be active and you can start playing around. Now, one thing I wanna show you guys is sound reproduction. So let's say you want to replicate your own sound or you want to replicate the sound of one of your favorite actors or characters. This is where you do it. You can see I have Saki Voice 1. That's my voice. Saki Voice 2. That is also my voice. And I have Al Pacino's voice right here. Basically, you click on Replicate and you're able to upload an audio clip of that person and that's going to replicate the sound for you. Okay, so that's how you get the 
sound replication. Now, after you have your sounds, what you want to do is you want to create characters known as agents. So you click on the create agent right here. You want to give your agent a name. Let's just say Robert De Niro. This is just an example. And then I say English is the preference of the language. And the model is going to be, I'm going to use chat GPT 4.1. And then here, very important, you describe your character. So here I can say, act like Robert De Niro from the movie Heat. Okay, that's just one example. I'm going to give you a better example in a second. And then what you do is you click on confirm. And that's going to create your Robert De Niro character. And then once I have my character, I'm able to add a device. So if I want to bind this character to my AI Pi Lite device, I click on add devices and then I click on adding devices again. And then when I'm setting up my AI Pi Lite for the first time, it's going to give me a six digit code. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to say device binding code. And then I'm going to take this code. I'm going to put that into the control panel. I'm going to click on confirm. That's going to connect the character that I just created to this product. Then I'm going to enter right here and that's going to bind this new character to my device. That's how you make your device talk like a certain character. So I'm going to cancel this one out. This is just an example. Let me show you a character that I created. That's the Al Pacino character. You can see if I go to my adding devices, I have it connected to my AI Pi Lite from here. It's already binded. I can unbind it anytime I want. But I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click on configure character. This is very important. I give it a name. I pick the language. I pick the model, the AI model, and I select the voice that I want to use. In this case, remember, I replicated Al Pacino's voice. So I'm going to use that for this character. And here it is. Character description. I describe exactly how I want my character to behave. So I want them to be cocky and confident. I want them to be charismatic. I want them to be unpredictable. Okay. Traits of Al Pacino from the movies. And then I can save this and that's going to be my character. Okay. And again, I can bind each character to an AI Pi Lite device. Now let me show you something really cool. There is also pre-existing characters you can download and bind to AI Pi Lite. So I can click on the agent marketplace. It takes me to this marketplace where I have all these characters, this character that acts like somebody who's embarrassed all the time. Here's a character that is always acting envious. Here's a character that is always acting anxious. So I can download these characters to my control panel. So I click on import. But before I do that, look, I can pick from tool style characters, novelty type characters emotional characters and all that stuff is here role playing as you can see here's a tony stark character so i can import this and it goes right over here and again i can tap on add devices to bind this to an ai pi like device and that device is going to sound like tony stark it's going to act like tony stark and all that good stuff so that's how you do it okay so again aipi.com you buy the product you buy the subscription. Then you go to AI Pi developer community where you create characters and bind them to your AI Pi Lite. So right now I've got my Al Pacino character connected to my AI Pi Lite. And if I were to purchase two more AI Pi Lights, I can connect Robert De Niro to one of them. I can connect Tony Stark to one of them. So you can have as many as you want. So that's the control panel for your AI Pi Lite. Let's wrap this up. All right, so when you put everything together, this is what you have. So here's my AI Pi Lite. I've got my subscription and I've created and binded my Al Pacino character to this product. So look at this. I'm going to talk to it right now. I'm just going to say, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? How am I doing? Kid, I'm doing fantastic. You know why? Because I woke up this morning. That's half the battle right there. Life's a stage, and I'm still in the spot. 
So you can see it is talking to me in Al Pacino's voice with the style of Al Pacino because that's how I wanted it to be. So the possibilities are endless. You can create any type of character with any voice and bind it to your AI Pie Lite. Now this is just for entertainment, but you can have a person that is designed to help you. You can have a person that is designed to entertain you. You can even make an AI friend that is supposed to be friendly with you, even though I recommend real friends. Hey, I'm about to go to sleep. Do you have any uh, words for me before I go to sleep? Okay, so you get the point. This is this is incredible that I can do this with a little device like this and I can set it up the way I want it. All right, so that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do drop them down below, but I will also leave all the links down in the description to buy the product and the service. And I'm also gonna drop any special discounts down below as well. Like I said, any questions, just let me know. Guys, have a fantastic day.